In this training video, we will cover parallel indexing. First, an introduction of just over a minute of when and why parallel indexing is used, followed by a video explaining how to use parallel indexing, and then a summary and a recap. When a vessel is being navigated in confined waters, traditional fixing methods become inadequate. It may take an experienced navigator a number of minutes to obtain a radar range, visual bearing, then plot it on the chart and act on the information with a possible course change. If sea room is severely restricted and there are hazards to navigation in the area, such delays could lead to disaster. In this type of situation, the vessel's position must be constantly monitored using continuous position fixes. ECDISC is preferable to paper charts in these circumstances, but suffers from complete reliance on GNSS fixes. Radar can provide similar real-time navigation capabilities, not reliant on GNSS, utilising parallel indexing. A properly prepared parallel indexing plot will quickly show the navigator when the vessel begins to deviate from the desired track. This will enable corrective measures to be taken immediately without resorting to time-consuming standard position fixing methods. How do we use parallel indexing? The first thing to do is a chart inspection for the area that parallel indexing is to be used, and then choose a radar conspicuous object. What is a radar conspicuous object? It is an object that will return a strong radar echo and which can be identified on the chart with a high degree of certainty. Examples would be a large cliff, headland, lighthouse or a harbour wall. Here we can see targets that give a good strong radar return and are radar conspicuous. With the radar in relative motion, the target will track across the radar screen on the reciprocal opposite course and at the same speed of your ship, which in this case is 080 degrees by 12 knots. How can we make use of this effect? By inspecting the chart, a navigator can choose a safe distance off the radar conspicuous object their ship needs to be. Then, using electronic index lines, enter on the radar screen the vessel's track and safe distance off the radar conspicuous object they want to be. In this animation, the parallel index line has been set at a safe distance of 2 miles at 260 degrees, 080 degrees. The chosen target will track along the parallel index line if the vessel stays on track. However, knowing you're exactly on track is not much use to the navigator. Knowing you're in safe water is more important. How do you know if you're in safe water? To know if you're in safe water, inspect the ship's track on the chart and decide the amount of safe water either side of the planned track. Then lay off not more than and not less than lines on the radar. Safe water in this case is a quarter of a mile either side of the vessel's planned track, giving a safe navigable corridor of half a mile. The not less than line is 1.75 miles and the not more than line is 2.25 miles. In this example, the vessel is nearer to the headland but is still in safe water. To bring the vessel back on track, apply port helm and alter course away from the headland. This time, the vessel is further away from the headland but still in safe water. To bring the vessel back on track, apply starboard helm and alter course towards the land. In this animation, although the vessel is not on track, it is still between the not more than and the not less than lines, and is therefore still in safe water. Summary Parallel Indexing Techniques Parallel indexing techniques provide the means of continuously monitoring a vessel's track in relation to a predetermined passage plan. Parallel indexing should be practiced in clear weather during straightforward passages so that watchkeepers remain thoroughly familiar with the technique and confident in its use in more demanding situations such as confined waters, restricted visibility or at night. 
The principles of parallel indexing can be applied using electronic index lines. A number of index lines may be preset and called up when required on all modes of display. Electronic index lines remain at the set cross index range, enabling the operator to change range without corrupting the range of the index line. Care should be exercised when activating preset index lines that the correct lines for the passage are being displayed. Parallel indexing on a relative motion display. On a relative motion compass stabilized radar display, the echo of a fixed object will move across the display in a direction and at a speed which is the exact reciprocal of the ship's own ground track. Parallel indexing uses this principle of relative motion. Reference is first made to the chart and the planned ground track. The index line is drawn parallel to the planned ground track at a perpendicular distance, cross index range or offset equal to the planned passing distance off an appropriate fixed target. Observation of the fixed object echo movement along the index line will indicate whether the ship is maintaining the planned track. Any displacement of the echo from the index line will immediately indicate that own ship is not maintaining the desired ground track, enabling corrective action to be taken. Parallel indexing in true motion display. The use of true motion radar presentation in parallel indexing requires an ability to ground stabilize the display reliably. Parallel index lines are fixed relative to the trace origin, i.e. to own ship, and consequently move across the display at the same rate and in the same direction as own ship. Being drawn parallel to the planned charted track and offset at the required passing distance off the selected fixed mark. The echo of the mark will move along the index line as long as the ship remains on track. Any displacement of the fixed mark's echo from the index line will indicate that the ship is off track enabling corrective action to be taken. Precautions. Some older radars may still have reflection plotters. It is important to remember that parallel index lines drawn on reflective plotters apply to one range scale only. In addition to all other precautions necessary for the safe use of radar information, particular care must therefore be taken when changing range scales. The use of parallel indexing does not remove the requirement for position fixing at regular intervals using all appropriate methods available, including visual bearings, since parallel indexing only indicates if the ship is on or off track and not its progress along the track. When using radar for position fixing and monitoring, check the identity of fixed objects, the radar's overall performance, the gyro error and accuracy of the heading marker alignment, the parallel index lines are correctly positioned on a suitable display and the accuracy of the variable range marker, bearing cursor and fixed range rings. For more course information for Master 200 oral preparation courses, visit the website master.200info, email andy at master200.info or call 087 707 9989.